So Andy Fillmore, MP, liberal MP, of a riding here in Halifax. He is one of these liberals that has seen the writing on the wall and got out of his position as a liberal MP. His writing is up for by-election here soon. And he's running for mayor here in Halifax now. He's up against two other people, Way Mason and Pam Lovelace. One thing I love about municipal politics is there are no parties. It's just people and their platforms. So it's a lot harder to have tribalism happen in municipal politics. It's exciting. But the problem with Andy Fillmore, jumping from his MP seat to try and being a mayor of Halifax, too soon, brother. You need to at least give it a couple years. Wait for the next mayoral election to come up. Give it four more years. People are going to remember this. I don't even want to give this guy advice because I think he's terrible. But he's running here in Halifax. And all he's doing is running off of his name. His policies are terrible. For example, they were debating the other night. Talking about what are they going to do with the homeless encampments. Andy Fillmore's response was, Sick the police on them. Way Mason kind of gave more of a standard approach of like, yeah, let's look at, you know, how we can help homeless people more, which is, you know, it's a st- it's just kind of a, the typical response you'd expect. Pam Lovelace, interesting lady, says, let's get to the root of the problem. What is causing people to be on the streets in the first place? How can we impact those those areas and try to intercept people before they end up being on the streets? Three different approaches from three different candidates. I'll tell you this much. Andy Fillmore, definitely my least favorite approach. What a stupid way to go about it. Let's just imprison them for being homeless. As I was a part of the party, a part of the government that put them homeless in the first place. My policies that I supported did that to them. You overspent, you drove up prices, you drove up costs, and now people can't afford. There are people in literal tents under bridges in cities in this country because of the government this man was a part of, the policies he supported. I'm on Team Trudeau. Team Trudeau, yeah. Yeah. Killing people. Figuratively and literally. So see this man turn around and say, I'm going to run for mayor. Look at this guy here. This is what, let's, let's just watch this. Hi, I'm Andy Fillmore, candidate for mayor of HRM. I grew up in Halifax, a graduate of Queen Elizabeth High School in Dalhousie. I studied rural and urban planning, and I've spent my entire career building strong, healthy, connected communities. And I'm running because our region is growing fast. We need to take charge of this growth before it takes charge of us. We need to build more housing, end encampments, get public transit working better, fill the potholes faster, and freeze the tax rate. From Ecom Seacom to Hubbards, we live in an amazing municipality. As your mayor, I'll work with anyone to get the job done. A coalition of people, rural, urban, suburban, brought together by a love for this place and united behind a common purpose to take charge of our future, to meet the moment together. Let's get to work. Yeah, spare me. How about you get to work in the private sector and do something different? This reeks of a man who's looking for a job. This man lost his job through the Trudeau government and he knows he's got no way back at the federal level. So he's going down the municipal, hoping, praying, people do not make the connection. Well, funny enough, Andy Fillmore was the man who was, who had won the riding that my parents were in. And Andy Fillmore showed up at a park in their riding, doing his whole thing. And, of course, my dad, being my dad, said what everyone was thinking. 
and did what he does. And he asked Andy straight to his face, you were a part of the government that put us in this mess in the first place. What are you going to do? What can you say that's going to be any different than with the mess that you've caused here, that you've helped cause? Why should I put any trust in you? And Andy does what Andy does. He's a politician. Deflects, dismisses. I'm Andy Fillmore. We're going to end encampments. And moves on. You can get more of that. Do not vote this man in. Halifax, if you have any backbone, you will not vote this man in. He's praying he can run off his brand of his name. But he's a typical politician who will do absolutely nothing. He's a city planner. That's what he said in his video. City planner. He won't get a job again as a city planner. His only job is in politics. He knows this is his only way to make a living. You do not want someone in politics like that. You do not want to vote for someone like that. Do not vote him in. All he wants to do, all he wants is a freaking handout from us. Do not vote him in. Look at Pam Lovelace or even Way Mason. Compare those two because they're in a different league compared to this man. He doesn't know what he's doing. He voted in favor of Bill C-11. You know, you, hey, your, your, uh, your Instagram stories, your Facebook articles you can't see anymore. Yeah, he voted in favor of that. Do not forget all the things this man's voted in favor of. And he, you think he's going to be the man that fix Halifax, help Halifax get to the next level? Give me a break. He's giving you lip service. He's wasting your time. Take Way Mason seriously. Take Pam Lovelace ser- seriously. One of my favorites is more so leaning towards Pam. She's offering some really interesting solutions. One thing that I thought was really interesting with Pam is that when it came to the topic of transit, she was, she really, like, Andy Fillmore wanted more stops, more routes, more frequent buses. Way Mason wanted more stops and routes in underserved areas. So you can see where he leans, right? Pam Lovelace, developing, wants to develop light rail along provincial corridors in partnership with the Nova Scotia government, reducing traffic congestion with park and ride service and services and transforming Halifax Transit into a regional transportation commission. There's only one of those three who's thinking outside the box. And it's not Andy Fillmore. This man said, more stops, more routes. More stops, more routes. Okay, Trudeau. That $30 billion you spent on 10 buses back in 2020 or back in 2018 is really serving you well. And on the topic of the homelessness, we'll get more specific again. Pam Lovelace also in- emphasized the importance of addressing homelessness through services and long-term housing solutions, critiquing Andy's policy that prioritizes removal without offering sustainable supports. Andy's solution to homelessness is expressing, he expressed a more enforcement-oriented stance on encampments, suggesting that police should remove them as part of managing public spaces. This man's an absolute fool. Halifax, do not vote this man in. He was a part of the government that put more people into the streets. And this is going to be his response to homelessness? I'd say Pam's approach is a lot more sound, a lot more kind, compassionate, thoughtful, and detailed. Reg had some takes on both of these, though. This is Reg's take. When it comes to the situation of the homelessness, this is what Reg had to say. It feels pretty on ban- brand for the former liberal MP. Let's just police people without an actual solution for how they became homeless in the first place. His government's poor leadership. Pam clearly won this one. You need to address that root cause before you just jail everyone. And then his take about the the transit. Again, he agrees with Pam. We need to be thinking bigger, more buses and stops doesn't address the problem. We need more options like a light rail system connecting the region and more park and ride options. I like someone who thinks big rather than continues the status quo of the establishment. And Reg is spot on with that. Someone who thinks a little bit bigger, I think would be important. Do not let Andy Fillmore off the hook. Let him figure out his life on his own terms. 
let them go back into the private sector and make a living as a planner again. Let him figure out life without politics. Because clearly he, he, doesn't, he doesn't know how to do it. Don't vote this man in. Don't vote this man in. That was electric, wasn't it? Well, we enjoyed it. Hope you did too. If you did, you can check this video out here to the top right corner right near my window. Get over, get over, get over. There it is. There it is right there. And if you liked that, you can also check this one out right here. We love you. Have a good one. Peace out.